Uh, we believe yeah. that Sucre has talked about the failures of leadership and judgment inside uh, number 10 in the cabinet office and that senior leadership at the centre, both political and official, must bear responsibility for this culture, this culture that clearly allowed rule-breaking, law-breaking to take place in that building and in other buildings around me here in uh, Westminster. We know that 126 fixed penalty notices were handed out to over 80 people. And so Sue Gray uh, saying that the failures of leadership and judgment inside Number 10 and the Cabinet Office are down to those at official level but also uh, political uh, level. As you may well see, actually, the uh, Range Rovers are uh, gathering behind me here because we are expecting the Prime Minister to leave at any minute and to travel to Parliament just on the road. It's less than a mile away where he will, of course, do PMQs and then answer questions uh, from uh, MPs. And many of them will want to ask lots and lots of questions, not just about Sue Gray's report, but indeed whether the Prime Minister has misled Parliament in the statements he's made, statements in which he has insisted, of course, back at the back end of last year and the start of this year, that there were no parties and that all the guidance was followed. That clearly now isn't uh, the case. And then the Prime Minister, Patrick, will return a little later here to Downing Street, where he's going to answer questions uh, from us in the media as uh, well. I think the big question for him, uh, and we're just getting, uh, as I say, this information in as... Uh, as, as we stand here, is, is this going to change the political dial? Is this going to be damaging enough that enough Conservative MPs are going to question their support in the Prime Minister? The sense, at least at the moment, is that that is unlikely uh, to happen, that opinions on what the Prime Minister has done is already fixed, that yes, this will, of course, be damaging for him. It's going to be a pretty rough day for Boris Johnson, but in the end, he will manage uh, to survive uh, all of this. Um, uh, as I say, we are getting this information uh, in as we go along, but at the moment it looks like Sue Gray is, is, uh, is framing this, that there was a lack of leadership, a lack of responsibility inside these buildings, and ultimately senior civil servants are responsible for that, but so are politicians, frankly so is the Prime Minister too.